on the back. <laughs> Teka. Okay lang ba yung sinisipa? Hello everyone, my name is Vian and welcome to another episode of Top Realty's Top Homes Tour. So today's tour takes us inside a prestigious village here in Alabang, Muntinlupa City to feature this beautiful modern Filipino home. So join me and let's find that dream home you've always been looking for. Palms Point Alabang is a gated subdivision located in the premier CBD of Philinvest City which transports residents to a modern Asian paradise just outside the hustle and bustle of the city proper. This 7-hectare development has 148 prime residential lots where homeowners can build their dream Asian-inspired homes and create their very own private living spaces. Palms Point Alabang is within close proximity to Parif Woodrose, San Beda Alabang, De La Salle Santiago Zobel, Asian Hospital, South Links Golf Club, Alabang Golf and Country Club, Alabang Town Center. It's easily accessible via SLEX Alabang Exit, Philinvest Exit, and the Daang Hari Exit, allowing families to broaden their horizons and explore the many possibilities this region has to offer. This property sits on a 347 square meter corner lot with over 500 square meters of interior space. It has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a huge family hall, and this four vehicle carport. So as you can see, this house has an open frontage where you only have your lush landscaping that serves as your fencing. So it doesn't have a gate and this four vehicle carport so since it has a ramp and it's still spacious i suppose you can still put a fifth car horizontally on this area so right over here you get an access to the service area which is to my left and to my right you will see three doors the farthest one is an access to the inside of the house and then the two doors right here are for your driver's quarters and its own ensuite bath. So from the garage, just a few steps up, you have an access to your spacious front porch. So this is a nice area where you can have your coffee or your afternoon tea and you have here some lush greenery so you don't have to worry about passersby. And then over here, you can already see also your lanai and your side garden. This is still about 3 meters wide and probably around 20 meters long. So you can consult with your architect or maybe the village administration office to see if you can still put a lap pool. Um, this is a nice area where you can work on your tan in the afternoons. You get a little bit of the afternoon sun but um, this house is facing east and south so that's good feng shui all right so now let me show you the interiors of this house but before we go in as always please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and we're also on facebook and on instagram at official top realty so give us a follow there as well so you can get access to the best property deals in the market so upon entering, the first thing that I noticed in this house are these charming Asian-inspired drop lights, which immediately gives you that tropical vibe that this house has. So this entire area opens up to your side garden, so your windows and sliding doors are generous, giving you plenty of cross-ventilation within the house. Um, you would also notice that there, throughout the house, that there are lots of ceiling fans, which is, of course, one of the traits of a traditional Filipino house. 
So right over here, you have a sliding door that leads you to your private dining area. So again, just like the living room, it also opens up to your side garden. It also has an access to this mini lanai where you can have your merienda away from the afternoon sun. So now going back inside, another thing that I would like to highlight is the ceiling treatment, which really gives you the tropical ambiance. So this is a combination of wood and abaca, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I think this is uh, an abaca textile. So it just really gives you that resort type feel. And then over on this side, you have a counter with cabinets where you can place your cutlery and your plates. And since there is a socket also, you can put a TV right here if that's your thing. You like watching TV while having dinner with your family. And then this swing door now leads you to your gourmet kitchen. So your gourmet kitchen is already equipped with a two-door ref. It already has an Elba electric cooktop and range hood, and it even has its own air conditioning unit already. And then you have here your sink and your window with glass jalousy. So very traditional of Filipino homes. So right outside the gourmet kitchen is an access to your laundry and your dirty kitchen um, but we won't go there for now anymore uh, as we will be heading back to the living room. Before we head up to the second floor, let me just quickly show you what this leads to. So this leads you to your powder room and this door leads you back out to your garage. All right. So now, let me show you what's on the upper floors. So this is your main staircase. It's a nice break from all the modern staircases that you see. So this is a solid concrete for its railings. Then halfway to the second floor, we get to see the first bedroom of the house. So this is the only room on this floor. It's currently set up as an office, but easily you can convert this back into a bedroom if you just remove these tables and shelves. So this room has the biggest balcony in the house. And since we are doing mostly work from home nowadays and even the kids are studying from home, this huge balcony can serve as a nice activity area for them as well if they do have activities in school that they need to do outside. Alright, so this one, just like all the bedrooms, it comes with an ensuite bath. It also has this nice glass panel that lets you see the entire living and dining area. So it's a nice private, semi-private area. Now on to the second floor where you have two rooms. So let me just show you first the master bedroom since it's closest to the staircase. Okay. So this is your master bedroom. If you can see, the ceiling is pitched high, just like the traditional Bahay Kubo. So you have a nice high ceiling. And it also features this Asian ceiling design. I'm not sure if this is rattan or buri, but um, it's a nice touch. Uh, it's a nice touch giving it a very Filipino vibe. It also comes with its own balcony, a wrap-around balcony that extends all the way there. Wow, all the way to the back of the house. Going back, you see here to my left is the space for a queen or king-size bed. You have here your entertainment wall. 
and there is a nook right here where you can do some work and this is your walk-in closet so it's mostly made of wood and the same abaca ceiling and then another door leads you to your master bath which is complete with a tub water closet fully enclosed shower and a double vanity sink right so now let me take you to the other room on this floor and right outside your master bedroom there is still ample space right here it can be a reading nook uh, since it already has this nice feature wall right here it can be a bookshelf or an area for your family memorabilia your family photos so this is the third bedroom it's located at the back corner part of the house it already has built-in so this is where your kids can do their online homeschooling it also has built-in cabinets and an ensuite bath colored in pink. So I suppose this is for your daughter. Okay, so now going back, there is still one door right here which leads you to a very spacious storage room. But there are a lot of things inside so we won't bother checking in on that anymore. So just a couple of steps up from your second floor is the fourth bedroom. Okay, so this is the only bedroom on this floor. You would consider this as the second and a half floor. So staying true to its Filipino theme, you have here your woven cabinets or parang banig style. If you guys know what this material is, please let me know in your comments down below. So this design is also featured in your ceiling. So it has the same pitched roof that we have in your master bedroom. So just like the rooms on the second floor, this room also has its generously sized balcony. So it's nice. You can see the front part and you can even see the entire Philinvest city skyline from your balcony. All right, now let me show you the ensuite bath, which is right over here. This one, naman, is an all white bathroom. So now, on to the last floor of the house. So even here, you can see the consistency in the architecture and the design. You have some glass jalousies. So this topmost floor of the house is pretty big. Probably around 100 square meters big. So it can serve as a playroom, a family room. Um, wow, you can do a lot of things with this space. Um, apart from this family hall, you even have two more rooms. So this one comes with an ensuite bath. So this serves as bedroom number five. It has its own ensuite bath, which has two access doors. So another one back out to the family hall. And then this other door leads you to another bedroom. It's up to you if you want to consider this as the sixth bedroom, but it's pretty spacious to be considered as one, but it can also be a playroom or a storage room if you need an extra storage room. But wow, you have so many rooms in this house. If you have this much space, what would you do with it? Let me know in your comments down below.
So if you are looking for a home that is a little different from all the modern houses that you see on the market today, then you might want to consider this beautiful Asian home here in Alabang. So thank you guys for watching today's tour and I hope to see you again in our next videos. Again, my name is Bien and this is Top Realty, your partner in real estate. Thanks for watching our property videos. We hope you've enjoyed them as much as we've enjoyed creating them for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on more exciting videos.